I feel like I can't finish this project because I can't get the resources I need. Deviant Art is blocked and we need it. What did he say? We need brushes. So we need a. Uh... They have like they have tutorials for everything. They have everything. What does? Deviant Art. Deviant Art is like. You can use it to upload all your pictures for a type of portfolio. I have one too. Yeah. Yes. So it's super frustrating that Facebook does not work on the computers because sometimes I need pictures for certain projects we're doing for class and I can't use them. And where else am I supposed to get pictures from? Facebook would be easy to have to get general things I need for projects. If we taught our teenager to drive a car in the same way we teach them about social media, First, driving lessons will be taught by adults with little or no experience of driving. Sure, they may know certain brands of cars or be aware of some of their capabilities. They may know it's illegal to speed or drive without a seatbelt, but in reality, they have spent very little time behind the wheel. Two, driving lessons would only focus on what not to do. An average driving lesson would entail the students being preached to about the dangers of speeding, drinking and driving, or not wearing a seatbelt. There would be very little advice on how to keep you and your car safe. And number three, driving lessons would never take place in an actual car. In fact, cars would be banned in the majority of driving schools. So students would be able to take notes, draw pictures, or even make a PowerPoint on how to drive, but they would only be able to put those lessons into practice once they were out of sight of an adult. The Wareman Technology Plan for Ombal ISD will include the tenets of the National Education Plan, the State of Texas Long Range Plan for Technology, the Humble ISD Technology Plan, and the Atascocita High School Plan. The Wearman Technology Plan for Humble ISD will customize internet filtering to include safer search environments and smarter technologies that will ensure large parts of the internet are not shut down. Mobile phones, Facebook, Wikipedia, YouTube, blogs, wiki spaces, and whatever technologies that have been blocked in the past, they're not inherently evil. My plan will stop de demonizing them and focus on people's behavior, not the tools. Federal laws do not require the strong filtering we've had in the past. The Natural Technology Plan includes changes to SIPA, the Children's Internet Protection Act, to open access to the internet and rethink how filtering works in schools. The Wormit Technology Plan will enable powerful student learning. The first reaction to the new technologies and websites will be, how can we make this work, instead of, we need to keep this out. Our district trusts teachers with children, and we will trust them with the internet. Mistrust of teachers will drive away good educators. In the development of the Wehrman Technology Plan, I identified the stakeholder groups. The needs of these stakeholders drive the plan. Students need rich digital content, varied learning venues and styles, the ability to learn from outside the formal classroom, engagement in learning with teams, and access to self-paced learning tools. The active engagement of families is seen as essential to student achievement. Providing a forum for communication with students and teachers and the active provisioning of resources and information can help guide families to best assist all concerned. As a front line of learning delivery, teachers and principals have specific tactical requirements. Online access to student profiles, lesson planning and customization assistance, support for and streamline administrative tasks, and web accessible professional development resources. The central and local administration, um, the foremost needs are access to timely and meaningful data on performance in the classroom and across the system. This information needs to be timely enough to take corrective action and accurate enough to enable individual school intervention and tracking the overall performance management. The Wormen Technology Plan has three pillars. It starts with the Umbel ISD mission, vision, and priorities. The priorities include achieving academic excellence, maximizing the financial resources, developing and retaining our people, and planning for our future. The Texas Long Range Plan for Technology was also vital to the development of the Wehrman Technology Plan. 
Texas has goals, objectives, and strategies that can cover teaching and learning, educator preparation development, leadership, administration, and instructional support, and well, as well as the infrastructure for technology. A big part of the Wehrman Technology Plan comes from the United States uh, National Technology Plan developed in 2010. First, we have to consider the infrastructure where resources are available to educators and students whenever and wherever they are needed. They need to include the people, processes, learning resources, policies, and sustainable models for continuous improvement. In addition, we need broadband connectivity, servers, software, management systems, and administrative tools. Another goal addressed by the National Education Technology Plan is learning. We need to serve all the learners anytime, anywhere, and technology needs to be used to enhance the STEM learning. We need to develop 21st century expertise with 21st century experience. A third goal of the National Plan does encompass what is required by the Texas and the Umbel ISD plans, using assessment to measure what matters and then using those assessments to support individual student needs, using data to drive continuous improvement, and embracing and scaling emerging assessment methods. Teaching will be improved by providing access to technology-based content, resources, and tools when and where needed. It includes not blocking resources and giving access to those resources to increase digital literacy among teachers and respond to a teaching workforce that is growing more skilled and more comfortable with technology. The last of the five essential components of learning powered by technology provided for in the National Education Technology Plan is productivity. We need to use technology to plan, manage, monitor, and report spending with, and provide decision makers with a reliable, accurate, complete view of financial information. We need to leverage technology to improve functions and processes both within and outside the classroom. <laughs>